Hello everybody, it's Linda and I've got another design team project for Wild Oaky Crafts to share with you. And I have altered this heart-shaped box. And um, I have uh, used several of the uh, Wild Oaky Crafts uh, flowers and trims. And also some uh, uh, handmade roses, rolled ribbon roses. And... Uh, I have used this frame that uh, Leonie, my passion for paper here on YouTube, hi Leonie, that she gave me. So thank you so much Leonie, I really love it. And uh, this can be taken off so that you can put a picture inside. And I have, it was quite dark color like this. <clears throat> and uh, I have just painted it white and used different kinds of ribbon buff and some mica uh, flakes here on it and a metal butterfly so that's the frame and i will just leave it here so that i can you know turn around the box and stuff and these are one of the little birds that i got from a norwegian shop called nilla and it's not an online shop it's <clears throat> it's just a regular shop and um these uh, beautiful tea roses are from uh, Wallagood Crafts and these are the small Tuscany roses and I have used um, a, a Tuscany rose under here as well to prop this one up and this is one of the large um, I think it's called wild roses and I'll put the links to the Wallagood Crafts uh, embellishments and flowers below and this trim is also from Wild Liquid Crafts. It's a beautiful pearl trim, flat back. And let's see, uh, what else have I done? I have used um, some half pearls here and there. And these are from my dear friend Annie. Thank you so much, Annie. Really love these. And these little stamens here are from Art Angels Design on Etsy. And... Uh, this I got from Lizzie Jose a, a while back. Um, I don't think she has a, a shop at the moment. And uh, this rose here, or flower, I made out of layers of crocheted doily and some, <coughs> sorry, just some trims. And uh, this is a chiffon flower. And I just made a, a flower center for it. And this was made using uh, Trisha's tutorial and uh, I'll link to her tutorial below and this uh, is also a chiffon rose and a handmade flower center and this is a slider, slider buckle with a half pearl in it and this is one of the pearl sprays that you can find uh, over at Wildwood Crafts and I just uh, twisted it and made it into a circle and I have a cameo that I have distressed using some uh, Inca gold. And this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous gray and white trim here, flower trim, I got from Vandana. Hi, Vandana. Thank you so much. Really love this trim. And these little butterflies, sorry about my nails, they're always horrible. Sorry. <clears throat> the little butterflies, they're from Wild Good Crafts. And I think they might have some um, on like the, what do you call it, when you sell out stuff that you discontinue <laughs> in the sales section or something and i used these little wooden uh, dolls i think they're called or something i don't know no. these wooden feet and i have to glue this one down better and i just put some of this lace from wild Liquid crafts and some flatback pearls from wild Liquid crafts and uh this is just a trim from my stash. And the paper that I used is from Tim Holtz, <clears throat> one of Tim Holtz stacks. And uh, I have uh, crumpled the paper and I have sprayed it using Lindy Stamp Gang. These roses are colored using a Lindy spray called, it's a Glitz Spritz. Yeah, still shimmer. <clears throat> I also sprayed the bird with the still shimmer 
And uh, these other flowers were distressed using Inca Gold Graphite. And I used this um, Chiffon Rose Trim, small one, white one. That's from Wallacott Crafts. And here I have uh, just have a nice little key here. And I put the paper all the way around here. And it opens. And I just covered it with some paper inside and some washi tape around the edges. And I'm going to use this as a gift box for Christmas gift. So that's why I haven't decorated it much inside because I'm going to fill it with something. So that's uh, the frame is attached with Velcro down here like so. And uh, oh yeah, and that's a, a Prima light bulb thing, and just the charm that I got from an eBay seller here. I also used this beautiful stick pin that Fiona gave me. Hi Fiona, thank you so much. Really love her stick pins, and it's really beautiful. So yeah, that's my project. I really hope you like it. You'll find the links to the products that I have used in the description box below. I wish you all a wonderful day and take care. Bye-bye. See you soon.